The Vale of Arryn was the last of the great kingdoms left. Old and proud, House Arryn did what they always did in times of strife. They shut the bloody gate, sealing off the Vale. Then, the Queen Regent Shara of House Arryn retreated with her son, the boy King Ronald, into the Eyrie, their family's impregnable fortress. From the top of their mountain, they could look down on Westeros far below, its problems hidden beneath the clouds. But one day, Queen Shara entered the outer courtyard to find her young son sitting on the knee of Visenya Targaryen and ogling her dragon Vega beside her. Just as he'd asked for another cake at dinner, little King Ronald asked his mother if he could go flying on the nice lady's dragon. Visenya smiled at Shara. So, Shara imagined, did Vega. Remembering her manners, Shara asked if she could have Visenya brought some wine or food. She must be tired after such a long flight. But Visenya demurred. Bored with his mother's pleasantries, Ronald demanded an answer. Poor boy. He didn't even understand the question. Shara hesitated for a moment, then asked Visenya, as a mother, if it was safe for the boy. Visenya assured her it was. What choice did Shara have? Whilst her son circled the castle, she collected his little ringlet, her own regent's coronet, and the ancient falcon crown of mountain and vale which the Arons had worn for thousands of years. Ronald had taken to the sky as a king, but he landed as a lordling. Perhaps he considered his ancient rights a fair trade for a few minutes of flight as a little boy would. More likely, he didn't even notice the three crowns at Visenya's feet, or recognize the swords of his garrison beside them.